Hello, this is Devin Easterlin with SJA Property Management, and this is our version of Landlord's Corner. Uh, one of the questions that I get asked quite frequently is, how much does property management cost? And I want to address that in a couple ways. So there's the cost that the property management company will charge to you, and then there's the cost associated with having a good property manager compared to having maybe someone that's not quite as experienced. So the way that t property management companies charge typically is in two sections. They'll charge for finding a tenant and, and putting them in the property. That's called the leasing fee. And that'll typically um, cover all of your marketing. It'll cover showing the property to prospective tenants. It will also cover screening those tenants and executing all of the lease related documents and then as well as the movement of those tenants. And that fee can range, it can be a flat fee, or oftentimes it's a percentage of the rent. And I've seen everything from 50% all the way up to 100% of the first month's rent and a flat fee of around $500. It's really going to depend on the expertise that that company has, um, the ability they have to find a tenant quickly, what type of resources are available to them, how often they're showing the property. Uh, the second portion is the ongoing property management. And that's going to be um, oftentimes a percentage of the rent. And I've also seen some flat fee uh, management companies out there as well. So that can be anywhere from $99 a month. Um, many companies um, in the area charge that and they provide a limited amount of service. Um, and though it's, it really just depends on what level of service you're looking for. Um, other companies charge a percentage of the rent, and that can be from 8% all the way up to 10% is what I've seen in the area. So that's going to cover the ongoing aspects of managing the property. And that'll be everything from rent collection, 24 hour emergency service, it's a, if it's a good company. Also, they'll do all of the um, accounting, troubleshooting, uh, lease enforcement issues that you might have. Really, they're taking the place of you and allowing you to be hands-free. One thing that you'll want to think about as well is you have the fees that a property management company charges and also the costs that you could suffer if you hire a property management company with limited experience or that doesn't do a good job for you. You want to make sure they're keeping your vacancy rate down. Um, every month that the property sits on the market is 8% of the revenue that you would have received. So it's really important to keep those costs in check. You also want to make sure that they're proactive and they're going to take steps to avoid any potential liability that you might have if they see issues or if the tenant starts to not pay rent or does damage to the property. How aggressive are they going to be in enforcing your rights and remedying the problem quickly before it escalates? Um, those are some of the basics of how different property management companies charge in the area. Um, again, it's really about the personal service level that you want, uh, what you feel comfortable with, and making sure that you've done your due diligence and you find a property management company that's going to provide you with the level of service that you're going to need to make your property as successful as possible, um, receiving the most rent possible while keeping it well maintained. Uh, thank you very much. If you have any questions, always feel free to give me a call. Mm -hmm.